What is going on guys, this is your boy from Reside the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Tan Tigers1, hit that bell notification button. Welcome to my second video of the day. Where today I will discuss after watching this ICC World Cup 2019 finals. Is this a perfect example for the rules to be changed under which championships are determined in cricket? Is this a perfect example where we get no decisive winner? Should the rules be changed and the finalists, the two finalists, should they go into at least like taking a slight page out of the NBA where you have a best of seven series over here at least have a best of three series. If you can do five, at least have a best of three series. Like, you get the finalists, and then you wait a week or two, the other teams go home and whatnot. Then, then, at a later date, you play the final. At a later date, you have the series. What happens once you have the series? The players are recharged. Okay, everything is in, is in order. Okay, people come back from injuries and whatnot. So we have both teams that are 100% ready to go at, or as much as possible of 100% ready to go at. Okay, instead of, I'm sorry, what we saw today was the strongest case of an inconclusive winner. England won because they hit more boundaries, which in technical terms in cricket makes no sense. Because if you take six runs of six deliveries, and if you play five dot balls and then hit a six of the last ball, or if you play five dot balls and one six, you hit one six, in the end the result, the result is the same because this is a team sport. So first thing, should there be a series? Second, when it comes to a finals, such as a World Cup finals or even like an Asia Cup finals or whatnot, not a bilateral series, not just any like, you know, tri nation series or whatnot, no. When it comes to a major tournament finals, an Asia Cup finals, a Champions Trophy finals, ICC Cricket World Cup finals, this is what I mean. Should there be two reviews instead of one? Because case in point, Ross Taylor's wicket. This was a clear umper umpiring error where the ball missed the wickets when it went when it, when when Hawkeye was shown. Had Ross Taylor not been given out. He has scored only the five more runs. New Zealand would have would have won this match. Okay, New Zealand would have won the, the very high chance New Zealand would have won this match. Okay, so to get a more decisive winner, should there be more than in a finals, should there be two reviews? Okay, you have the reserve day that you have the reserve day, that's good. That's good, that's good. I mean, listen, in all honesty, in all honesty, New Zealand should have won this match. I mentioned this in my previous video. Because overall, in this match, they played the better cricket. Okay? And given how much luck was against them, this brings me to my third point. Should, should the umpire's call system be changed, especially when it comes to the ball hitting the wickets? Because... Because the ball pitching in line, outside line, okay. 
that could be somewhat debatable. But we all know that a cricket ball, when it even touches the side of the stumps, the bales fall off. And in one of the matches, Sanjay Mandrekar actually made a very good point. Because in a good number of matches, the bales weren't falling off. He reminded people the reason why bales were introduced in the first place so that the umpires know when the ball hit the when the ball when the ball hit the stumps. Now that we have so much technology, I think we should do away with, with, with the bales. Maybe he has a point. May, you know, maybe some of these rules, uh, you know, should be looked into. But getting to the ball hitting the wicket rule, and this is the only the specific part that I have I have my doubts with. Okay, the pitching in line, I'm good with that as it is. But instead of fifty percent of the instead of a 50% of the ball hitting the stumps because listen like uh, the commentators made a stu made a stupid comment they said 50% of the ball is hitting 50% of the stumps um the look you either hit the stumps or you don't hit the stumps Okay, the ball is the is the is the thing in motion. The ball is the object in motion. So, do you say like you know fifty percent of the ball pitch fifty percent in line? You don't say that, but yes, instead of fifty percent, I would bring this down to thirty percent, not twenty percent. Twenty percent there's a big margin of error. 30%, not 40%, 30%. If 30% of the ball, because now the, the technology we have, we can make these calculations easily. If 30% of the ball hits the stumps, at least 30%, it should be given out. It should be considered red. Because in no way you can say like, oh, um, if you get a bold, only half the ball, only half the ball hit the stump. So you know that's not out. How many times have we seen that, like you know, like you know, the the inner half or the outer half or the bottom half of the ball, like you know, hits the hits the stumps and like you know the bale fall off and that's given bold. How many times do we see that? So the fifty percent thing, I, I find it com completely ludicrous. But these are the changes that's needed. Because this was the perfect example why, why you need to put measures in place so that you get a decisive winner. Can you say England decisively beat West Indies and was decisively the better team? No, you can't say that. So this is why these rule changes are needed. I'm still a bit peeved on how New Zealand lost the match. On boundaries? Really on boundaries? I have no objections with the super over, but at least you could have gone with like you know maybe like you know end end net run rate or something. The boundaries thing makes no sense. The if it were a T Twenty match, the boundaries might have made sense, but this is this is the conventional ODI cricket. This is something that's been followed since nineteen seventy five. So this is just a food for thought type of video. Uh, please. Uh, 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 let me know what you think the answers of those questions are in the comment section below. All right, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Tanvi Sad, Bengal Dragon, signing out.